the judges last year there was a few judges for a few different categories do you know who the judges are this year and thank you aj for sending me everything i need <laughs> aj's amazing AJ. for the breaking battle it's gonna be omega uh mijo and Re rexic rico and for the all styles t-bugs vero and fabulous freddy Okay. All right. Those are some good judges. All right. And when she said Omega, it was not this Omega. It's another one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's got to be tough. The competition for breakers. Because I'm from the old school where it's the power moves. Mm -hmm. Right? The power moves is what gets me. Mm -hmm. If you don't do a... if it, The footwork is nice. Mm -hmm. But I, I got to see the, the power moves. I got to see the flares. I got to see the legs in the air. <laughs> you know, it's the whole nine. <laughs> you spin it on your head. But to be a, a, a judge, they have to... Pay attention to every, every little detail. Every little detail. It's 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 a lot of work. Like people don't realize. Like you're not just watching a battle. You have to watch every detail, every little mistake, every um, when people just flow. You got to see their their energy, their vibe. Like everything's involved. So people when they're like, oh, you're just judging a battle. No, it's a lot of work. Um, that's why I'm sorry. I don't judge that many battles anymore. <laughs> I'm 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 done. Yo, she's being humble. I forgot <laughs> to say this. Did you know Lady Champ? A big round of applause to Lady Champ because she is a Hall of Famer. Yeah. A Hall of Famer yes. in break dancing. Yes. And I remember she told me, she wrote to me, she's like, hey, yo, I, I'm going to go to New York. You know? She's like, oh, I, I just got inducted into the Hall of Fame yeah. for the breaking. I was like, yo, that's amazing. Yeah, I was, I was so shocked. I was like, wait, what? Lady Champ? Like me? What? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was amazing. So shout out to uh, Dancing Doug, Asia One, Forrest Gum, Quick Step, and Rockefeller because you guys made this happen. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I love my award. Mm. Um, I just stare at it all day. <laughs> <laughs> I would too. I'd be taking a shower with it. Come yeah, on. Yeah, it's so nice. <laughs> it's really nice too. What words of wisdom can you give people who strive to be in the Hall of Fame one day? Well, times are different. And then them, them times I was not ever thinking i was going to be in a hall of fame i was just being competitive i was just being um me i you know i i was very feisty um you know practice makes perfect one thing i tell everybody um and i never gave it up as much as i try to walk away from it i couldn't walk away it's like i'm so in love with breaking it's insane mm -hmm. i'm in love even right now talking about it mm -hmm. yeah you could definitely it definitely shows <laughs> when you were a break dancing uh in your prime what was like your your favorite style or your favorite moves to do what what, what made the crowd go Ooh, ah. well i i got lucky because I, I had a little bit of everything um i had flares husbands windmills swipes um then i had footwork you know i had had a little bit of everything so i was always well-rounded um and i was thankful for that i wish i was more well-rounded but it was good for what it was Obviously, Hall of Famer right there. She's, she's being <laughs> humble right here. <laughs> but was there like one particular move that's like, as soon as I do this, I'm winning. I'm winning this battle. As soon as I do this move. Well, a lot of times people knew I had a flare because I only had one flare. <laughs> but I had to teach myself how to flare both ways because my power went one way and I learned the other way. So I would flare one way and then flare the other way. And people were like, what? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Mm -hmm. But they weren't continuous, but they were both ways. But they were nice. And they were nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the one that used to get me was, uh, all right, the footwork, obviously, you start off with the footwork, and then do a little crab walk, the little, the little, the little crab walk. <laughs> yes, I had that when I was skinny. Yeah. <laughs> I, I used to know thick. how to do that. I, I, used to, yeah, I used to know how to do that. And then, obviously, the, the flares, the windmills, the spinning on the head thing for a while, that used to impress me because I used to try to do that. I think I got maybe half a spin before I fell. But there's some people that could just, yes. brrr, just repeatedly and go. You know what's funny? That's the question I get asked the most about all the power moves. They're like, oh, my God, how hard it is. Honestly, head spins for me i feel like are the easiest of the all the power moves mm. honestly did you used to have to like uh put your back up against the wall just to, I did. Just to learn just the, the to balance? strengthen these muscles in the and, back of your neck yeah and then you're also learning your balance but once you start because it's a process you don't just go and spin it's a process but once you start getting it and then you get other moves it all makes sense because you're doing the same thing with a wind uh a head spin that you're doing with the windmill you're doing the same thing with the head spin that you're doing with a side swipe you like everything is related to the the head spin or the windmill so mm -hmm. it came easy everything else came easy because i'm like oh oh this is like this oh yeah i just whip my legs oh yeah, and just yeah, yeah. you know says the expert to the non-expert <laughs> oh yeah yeah that's, that's oh, all you yeah, need to do is, right. this is it yo that looks difficult that's that's it's challenging not, i promise you but if you want it to look good, you got to practice. Yeah. But it's not hard. Mm. You, you'll you be like, 
it's really not hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How long would you say it would take uh, an amateur to to perfect that that technique? Is it like a weekly thing, a monthly thing? Did Back in years? my day, because we didn't have, of course, the internet. We didn't have. Um, we had to get VHS cassettes. Ooh. Got lucky to see, you know, one. Um, we really didn't have somebody walking us through. We didn't ha have a blueprint. You know, was uh, on the go. We, on we, the, fly. the little blueprint we did have was from the '80s B Boys, but it wasn't like somebody was there teaching us all day. Now you have schools. Now you have internet. Now you have cassettes. Now you have. I, I can actually teach you. You know, like you have outlets. You have. So these kids now, they're insane. They're like, they're like superheroes. <laughs> I'm like, what are? How did you come up with this? How are you doing that? Like. Insane. Mm -hmm. Are they coming up with their own moves or they're sticking to their traditional? They're just, the moves are like beyond. Okay, so back in my day, like doing a flare was a lot. Then continuous flares was a lot. Then air flares came. Now, you, you know, these guys are doing like air flares to a windmill, to a 90, like it, all in one thing. You know, it's insane. I like the air flares. I'm going to I'm gonna come up with a shoe called the air <laughs> flare. I'm writing it down. Shoe. Air flare. I, I like, like the it. way it sounds, right? I like it. You got the, the new I'll air flares. The model. Yeah. Hey, here we go. <laughs> All right, I got my first model. So, are there some moves that you see the younger generation do that you be like, man, I wish I would have thought of that, or man, I can't even do that? Honestly, like I said, these kids are like superheroes. So they have the blueprint. They have the teachers. They have guidance. They have outlets. We didn't have that, so there was no way that we were gonna get that back then. Like we heard from one of the old school '80s guys from our area. He was like, yeah, it was like, he did like a windmill, but in the air. And we were like, come on, like, come on. So he was talking about an air flare. We were just like, <laughs> stop it. Yeah, come whatever. Uh -huh. And now they're just like continuing, like just over and over and over and over and over. And I'm like, what are you, how are you doing this? Like, mm -hmm. how? Mm -hmm. Like, I get the, I get it when I see it, but I won't try it. Mm. No, I won't try it now. But I did try it before and I almost, almost got close to having it. But then I gave it up. I broke a nail. <laughs> she broke <laughs> I did. I broke a nail and I was like, I'm done. Oh, man, you and now they're gloves. all broken. They're all broken, man. These nails.